Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because this is something that I haven't spoken about for the longest time and so much has happened in the last few months in my life. I want to share this story because how I believe I manifested my husband, the love of my life in my life is something that I would love to share because I don't think it's something I should hold back from other people who might be finding or looking for comfort, especially in stages of life where you're you're just looking for who is that one person that I'm supposed to be with. And I understand because I went through that feeling for a very, very long time. Also, I feel that today is a very special day to be talking about this topic because it's exactly one month since I got married and my husband taught me these beautiful flowers i mean this is so my personality if you know me very well i love sunflowers i love lilies and he's been spoiling me with flowers so frequently ever since we started dating they smell heavenly i truly feel so so blessed to have him in my life that i feel like today is a very special day and i should actually talk about what i went through and how i believe that this was meant to be before i start talking about the things that happened to me and what happened in the last few months in my life, I do want to put out this disclaimer that the things that I'm talking about, I am not projecting it on as to you should believe in these things. Different incidents happen to different people and your faith exists because of your experiences. And this is just my faith and things that I believe are partially miracles and something to do with the universe and the energy I had put out. So do not take this as a guidebook to manifesting your life partner in any way. This is just me sharing my experience. Last year, around the middle of the year, I was going through a pretty rough patch when it comes to my personal life. I want to explain the feelings that I was going through because I actually had a call with a crystal bracelet therapist. I know this sounds crazy, but wait for it. I'm going to dive into a lot of the details. I was going through feelings where I felt like despite having someone in my life, I did not feel that this is the one. And I've always had this feeling or vision of the day I get married, like every young girl, a big wedding wasn't my dream. But what I had dreamt of is the way I wanted to feel when I get married to that person, even though I didn't know who that is. And so I remember I was a teenager when I had written this in my journal that I have these feelings where I'm missing someone who I don't even know. And it didn't hit me until years later as to that I had always had that feeling. And this is me being my most vulnerable self with you guys right now. I feel that I'm a hopeless romantic. And if you can relate to that feeling, you would know that when you see the good in everyone, when you are a hopeless romantic like me, you fall into love so quickly. And I have to admit that that has been my life. Now, when I say that I used to miss someone that I didn't even know, I started writing love letters to my future husband years ago. And this is the first time I'm actually saying this statement out publicly, but I've had these letters for the last three to four years and Satvik, who is now my husband, is the first person in this entire world to have actually read them. And to me, the right person would have been that one person who I could actually feel that I could show that person those letters and that they would still love me and not think, what a crazy woman. Um, but would, who would understand what I've gone through in all these years and there have been so many late nights where I used to sit down and just write letters to this person of what I envision, what I dream our life together to be. And I feel like that's pretty important when we talk about manifestation. It's crucial for you to put out what you want in the universe. Now coming to what happened very recently, just last year, I was reading this book by Viola Davis, her autobiography, Finding Me, in which she speaks about a very challenging phase in her life where her thoughts were, God, please show me and lead me to the man that I am supposed to be with because I am tired. And as I say this, I'm actually having goosebumps right now because I could relate so much with that sentence and with those feelings last year when I was going through that book. 
while reading that book, my YouTube feed actually suggested me an interview, a very intimate interview between Viola Davis, the lead actress of How to Get Away with Murder and Oprah Winfrey. And in that interview, she also discloses how she manifested her husband. And she talks about how this friend of hers had recommended that Viola go home tonight, kneel down and pray to the universe, pray to God exactly mention what you are looking for in your future partner what do you want and just pray that you find that person it gives you chills and it also kind of makes you think that this isn't possible but there are moments in life where you are so tired and you will do anything to find that peace and that comfort and love in this case that you are looking for because you just can't do it anymore because if not this then i'm gonna give up Viola did exactly that and she talks about how just in a matter of weeks she had actually met her husband who was exactly what she wanted. Now that is where my inspiration kind of began but I did find this kind of cuckoo and so in my regular therapy sessions that I have been taking for the last three years I mentioned this to my therapist that you know I saw this interview and I was going through these conversations with her as to how my societal pressure had kind of been building up on me all of my friends seeing them get married it kind of does make you feel lonely at times although i'm extremely comfortable living by myself and alone and i was an ext still am an extremely independent person i did feel kind of isolated when you see your friends having babies getting married and moving on in their lives and you kind of realize that they have someone to share their joy with their, to share their day with to go back home to at the end of the day and you kind of feel that i would also like to have that one person and so it was kind of dawning upon me that i do want to settle down in life now and i knew that those were my intentions. I did not want to be casually dating anymore because I've had enough of that. So in one of those therapy sessions, my therapist actually told me that that's how she also met her husband. She was at the verge of about to give up on dating apps and the boys that were being recommended by her family. And she just sat down one day and told the universe that, listen, if you're not gonna show me the man that I'm about to marry, very soon then i'm gonna give up and i'm not gonna get married at all and again it felt like such a familiar feeling because i was going through that i was journaling um that maybe i'm not meant to be in a relationship because i couldn't have a steady relationship for years and it was just too emotionally taxing to have breakup after breakup and there's only so much heartbreak you can take um, and at some point you do start questioning as to whether you're even meant for love because my therapist also told me this i remember one day i was about to film a youtube video and i sat in my chair in my bangalore setup and the camera turned on and instead of starting with my channel introduction it was one of those days where i was probably at my lowest and i was not able to speak without my voice cracking and without tearing up and so i don't know for what reason this urge to talk to the universe came to me and because the camera was on i actually have a video of it and it's barely a one minute video but i actually started addressing the universe and there wasn't a long list of demands in my case all i had asked for is please show me the guy and make me meet him now because i've been working on myself for so long i know i probably wasn't ready for love i know there was so much healing and self-improvement that I had to do but I've done the work now so please make me meet the guy make us connect now I want to meet this guy and I want to feel like the girl who wrote those love letters to my future husband because while I had written those letters I hadn't written a letter in the last one and a half two years it had been so long because after multiple heartbreaks I had kind of given up on the letters and it didn't feel right to be writing letters to someone anymore and that romantic person was just leaving me and i could feel myself not being myself anymore just because of the relationship toll that had dawned upon me i very quickly started crying and tears started rolling down like within 90 seconds of me saying that and i instantly stopped the camera till date i have never looked back at that video just because i'm so scared of how much it might make me cry but i have 
put it aside as a my secret wish and so that was the first thing that i had done the one of the first steps where i spoke to the universe and i do believe that that was the beginning of me manifesting it without having actually realized it at that moment this brings me to the concept of crystal bracelets and tarot readings i've always been a non-believer i do not do idol worship but i am a spiritual person but there are moments in life where you will anchor on to anything you will get now in 2021 i was approached by a crystal bracelet brand i've spoken about this on my instagram and there was a call with a therapist who understands you what you're going through in life and then they recommend crystal bracelets to you now in that conversation with the therapist i was extremely uncomfortable because i felt like i was cheating on my therapist but this person who I've only spoken to twice till date, figured out what I was looking for in life in one minute because of the questions she asked. She recommended a rose quartz bracelet to me, which helps you attract healthy, true love and also helps you work with self-love. At the time in 2021, I was so bitter that I refused to wear the bracelet after it came and got delivered to my place and I did not touch it for months. And something struck me in 2022 and one day I just felt like the bracelet was calling me out and I started wearing it. And I did start feeling as if I loved myself more. I do not have an explanation to how that works. Maybe it was a placebo effect. But even if it was, the results of it were working in my favor. Now they say that a crystal bracelet will break on its own when its purpose is fulfilled. So when I recorded this My Wish video, a week after that, I was traveling and I was going to Pune and Mumbai for work and attending a pageant finale event as well. And I remember that the day before I left to Pune, the bracelet in my wrist automatically broke. I still wear bracelets with different intentions now from the same brand. At the time, I did not know what a crystal breaking really means. And so my pessimistic brain told me that, Nikita, I think you had so much negative energy built up inside you that you broke the crystal. That was all my understanding. I did not think it's supposed to have a positive effect or that it means good at all. Little did I know that the bracelet had fulfilled their purpose. Now coming to the third thing that was happening around the same time. Like I said, you look for comfort in new places when you are extremely helpless and feeling low. Tarot readings were another aspect of my life that I had started watching and following very closely. And I have been that person who never believed in astrological predictions. So me watching tarot readings was actually quite new. And I started watching them on YouTube and somehow they started coming up. It was also because the crystal bracelet people they also do tarot readings so these things are kind of connected to each other so i got started to get involved more and more in understanding as to how these things work and when i was watching my readings i could usually i've never been able to find any connection and nothing really resonated with me but i think perhaps because i was in that situation because of my mental state or maybe just pure coincidence the universe was talking to me through these readings that these readings were actually very, very accurate. Now, obviously I was gonna do my experiments. And so what I did is I used to go back and backtrack and see past readings on those YouTube channels. And because I knew what had already happened, you can't test the future, but you can check whether or not what they're saying has already happened to you. And I so sort of did that for the last three months. And I realized that a lot of what the readings were talking about had kind of happened to me. Now, one of the small incidents that did happen is that for a few weeks, my readings had been talking about the existence of a third party and how this is a person who is not right for me and I should distance myself from this. And when I discover the presence of this third party, it's gonna feel like a chapter closed. And while this was happening, I could not possibly figure out like who is this third person party, whatever that is. But then 
my doubts were actually confirmed within a week because when I heard that they were constantly talking about a third person. I was casually dating someone at the point um, and I wouldn't even probably call it dating because we had only met a couple of times but remember I was vulnerable, I was emotionally um, looking for love and so this there was a situation that had started to begin but at the same time I did have some doubts that started creeping in and this for the first time in my life was I having doubts about someone's loyalty to me. I may have been cheated on in the past but the fact is that I've never really doubted anyone because that's just not how my brain works. I'm not a suspicious person. I do actually believe in good in everyone and which is why I've been in terrible situations at times. And so it was unusual for me to have these feelings. Three days later my doubts were confirmed and I was actually in a triangle situation without knowing about it. The minute I knew about it, I remember I'm sitting in this guy's apartment and I find out that there's a third person and my instant reaction to it, I still remember these feelings so clearly, is that instead of being disappointed or shattered or sad, I broke into a smile. I felt such a huge relief and I thanked the person and said goodbye as if I was closing a chapter and I truly felt like something had just ended and that my life was making way for new things and better things in my life. For some reason that moment, something that should have felt like bad news actually felt so good to me in that moment and I couldn't really understand it at the minute because I was basically losing the one person I thought that was there in my life. But I felt really, really good. A few weeks later, my readings are also talking about how I'm going to meet the person that I'm about to marry but there were so many things that did not make sense in those readings. The readings talked about how I'm going to meet and find this person at an event that I'm about to attend and remember I was attending an event in Pune. These readings also talked about how this person is going to be someone I've met at work. Now this is the biggest thing that was not making sense to me because in the fashion industry I have dated people in the past but one of the things that I was sure that I do not want in my future partner is for him to be from the fashion industry because I do believe that modeling and pageants and all of that is only a part of my life and I wanted to come back home to someone who's not from the same space. The fact that I did have a job before I stepped into this industry was just not on my mind because that's not what I consider to work anymore. And the third thing that the readings also talked about is that when you're going to find out who this person is, they did say you already know this person. They said that it's going to feel as if the floor beneath your feet has vanished. And so something really big, shocking and surprising news is going to come to you. And I kept hearing that over and over again. And so when I was going to the Pune pageant show, I did somewhere remember this in the back of my mind that I'm going to meet someone there. And I left the event and I didn't meet anyone. And so I started telling myself, nah, not all of the tarot readings make sense. You're just like reading too much into it and it's not going to happen. Um, and so that's all. I wasn't really thinking too much about it. Now, an hour after the event is over, I'm at the airport waiting for my flight. And for some reason, my flight got delayed. And so I had a long wait time at the boarding gate. And Satvik, who is my now husband, had been calling me for the last few days. And it was kind of unusual because we usually spoke once in a few months. But this time he had been calling me regularly for the past 3-4 days. Which was not normal behavior. But I didn't think too much of it. And as soon as I sat down and I got his call, he asked me that, Listen, I've been trying to say something to you for the last couple of days. Um, but you keep traveling so much. So do you have time? And my flight was delayed. So I said, of course, tell me. And... When he started talking and telling me how he has feelings, I so vividly remember that my first reaction was, I think I went cold, I went numb and I instantly looked at my feet because I felt like suddenly there was no gravity. I felt like the floor had vanished and so I had to look at my feet twice while he was talking to me because I just couldn't believe what was happening and it did feel like because this is a person who 
I never imagined would be interested or would have feelings for me in my wildest dreams. And I still didn't think about the tarot readings in that moment, but probably 24 hours later, things started to come back to me. You already know this person. That part of the readings was true. I also know him from work. We actually met at Oracle back when I was in the corporate sector. So that part was also true. And the fact that the floor would vanish also kind of did happen. And it felt like I had been manifesting this for the last two weeks because the bracelet broke a day before he told me how he feels. And everything happened very fast after that. Me and Satwik did not date for very long. In fact, I think within three weeks, we knew that we were about to get married. And the craziest thing is that it took me a while to really accept that this was happening and this was a reality because when he told me you have to understand he was in the US and I was in India and so it didn't make any sense and so this is my story of how I believe I manifested love in my life and the key to manifestation with respect to anything in his life is just doing the work on yourself making sure that you deserve it putting that energy out in the universe, which I had to do and I did for this as well. And just believing that good things will come to you if you make the room for it, if you make the space for it. I've been talking about how it's important to take yourself out of those toxic situations so that good things can actually come to your life. And I think that is why I needed a lot of chapters to really close in order for this one to begin. So I hope that my experiences resonate with some of you. I don't know how this video can be helpful to you, but I felt that sharing my experience would instill hope and faith if you're still looking for love and if you're in a situation or feeling despair or if you're about to give up on love and you feel that you're not meant for it, then I hope that this story brings you comfort. And I wish that every single person in the world finds true love because it's a beautiful thing to have. I love you guys so, so much and I feel so fortunate that I have such a loving YouTube family that I can share such experiences with as well. Thank you for everything, for sticking by and I know for a fact that a lot of you are going to understand where this comes from. I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.